Okay, bear with me on this shirt today. I know it is mega wrinkled, but I just had to wear it because I feel like we all had this moment today. We all had a psh. It was a psh event. Just. Whoa. That was all of us today. Hey guys, it's Crystal and wow, what an Apple event today. I feel like we got everything that we wanted and so much more. We got those new MacBooks with the new M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, two chips. <sighs> what a beautiful day to be alive. What a time, what a time, what a time. Now, before I break down what those each mean, we also got today the new third generation of AirPods, colorful HomePod minis, and a Apple Music voice plan. But of course, I have to start with the star of the show, the new MacBook Pros. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, I gotta tell you, I had a little bit of a dilemma today. I was really torn for a sec on picking up the 14 or the 16 inch because we get two sizes of these new MacBooks and the best part is that when you max them all out, the 14 and the 16, is the same minus the screen size. It's the same machine. Like you're not missing out at all with the max out 14. You're getting the same thing and it's a $200 difference. So I sat there and I was like, do I want the 14? Do I want the 16? I've been wanting the 14 because I got so used to the 13 inch MacBook Pro size and I, I love it. Like it's such a perfect size. It fits so nicely in my backpack. And it's just such a great extension to using a display, an extra display at home. So when you're on the go, you have that smaller compact size, but at home, I usually plug it into my pro display. And I, I love that combo. I love the big and little. So those extra two inches were really like, it, I, it was really, messing. it was really messing with me. <laughs> But long story short, I did end up going with the 14 inch maxed out M1 Max MacBook Pro. And I am so excited. You already know I'm gonna be testing it alongside my current machine, the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro, as well as the big boy 16 inch, whoever is interested in picking that up. Definitely stay tuned for that full in-depth look when it gets here. Now, beyond the fact that we're getting not only one, but two new chipsets for these machines, I feel like the next psh, wow moment for me was the ports when those ports were flashing through the screen my mind was just like what it's here it's here it's real <laughs> we all know we've been wanting that sd card slot to come back and it is back and it is beautiful gabby over there she's happy <laughs> we do not we do not need that dongle life as much anymore time. we'll need it for certain things but most of the time we won't need it <laughs> Alongside that long awaited SD card slot, we also get an HDMI port, three Thunderbolt 4 ports, and a MagSafe 3 port. And I think that's another one that Gabby's really excited for because the amount of times I have seen her trip over her cable, I mean, not gonna lie, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> We've all been there at least once. So MagSafe is back as well. Wow. This is really like, this is why I wanted to go silver this year. Oh, did I mention that? I went with the silver MacBook Pro this year just because it brings me back to the days where we had the SD card slot. I also had a silver machine and I've been wanting silver for a while now. Like I love me some space gray, but I'm ready for some silver back in my life. So yes, my friends, the ports are back and I feel like that's really adding to the full pro experience that we've been missing with the M current M1 life. I mean, it's been great. I've been loving it. And you guys already know from seeing my reviews and videos that this machine has had it all for me, but there was those few things missing that would complete to the whole experience. And I haven't even talked about everything that's new yet, but the ports was such a big thing because I cannot tell you the amount of times where I'm charging my machine, it's running low, but I also wanna bring footage in. So I have to alternate and wait for it to charge up before I do that because we're limited to two ports on here. That extra Thunderbolt 4 port is really gonna go a long way. Now, the good thing is whether you're picking up the 14 or 16 inch, you're getting a lot of those same new features no matter what configuration you get. That's what made my decision making a little harder before because I'm basically choosing between the same two 
MacBooks minus the screen size. And after seeing the 16 inch, I was thinking, do I want to go back to a bigger laptop? But no, we're staying 14 for now. But yes, a lot of the same new features, including the display, a beautiful XDR ProMotion display on both models. We love that XDR life, especially when it comes to HDR editing. And ProMotion is a lot of the same things, gonna be that same feeling to the M1 iPad Pro life, but now brought to the MacBook. And it makes so much sense because everything is moving to HDR. I mean, our iPhones record HDR flawlessly, and I honest, I've been loving just recording HDR video, especially off the iPhone with how easy that workflow is. So it's gonna be so nice to be able to bring that into the MacBook and truly be able to edit that naturally. Not only for video, but this is gonna be so great for photo editing as well. I feel like this truly completes that whole pro experience that we've been wanting. And I know when M1 was first coming out, we were hoping to see XDR on there, but it makes sense that they pushed it over to the pro models. And now that it's here, I, I cannot wait to see it with my own eyes. So XDR ProMotion displays on both models this year, and we're also getting a notch on the displays this year. And I gotta say, when I first saw the picture of that going around, I know a lot of people were mad about it, but low key, I was excited to see it for the thought of a better webcam. Like, just, just pause, just don't get mad at me, please. Like. <laughs> I really use my webcam so much for FaceTime, video calls. It is a key part of my MacBook experience. Like it's nice to have a good webcam on here. So the thought of an even better one got me excited. And yes, a notch is a notch. How do I say this without people getting mad at me? <laughs> the notch is a notch. People are gonna love it, people are gonna hate it. I don't hate it just because it's bringing us a better webcam and smaller bezels and I think that's awesome, so. Yes, there's a notch. Now we're definitely gonna have a deeper dive with both of these machines, but there's a lot of other cool features to be excited about with both, like better speakers all around, a better keyboard, no touch bar this time around, which is gonna be interesting because I feel like I've gotten so used to the touch bar life, but I'm also excited because I think it makes more sense not to have it on here. In a lot of ways, this is kind of a little throwback moment with the ports coming back and no touch bar. It's taking all the basics from the past and perfecting it in this new 2021 experience. Now, probably the biggest decision to make between the two if you're picking one of these up is which chip to go with, M1 Pro or M1 Max. With the M1 Pro, you get up to 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, up to 32 gigs of unified memory and up to 200 gigs of memory bandwidth. And the M1 Max, on the other hand, takes it a step further with a 10 core CPU, up to 32 core GPU, up to 64 gigs of unified memory and up to 400 gigs of memory bandwidth. I cannot wait to see what both of these chips translate into real world use. But I know no matter what type of pro user you are, there is finally a MacBook Pro out there for you. Ooh, the M1 Max is promising up to seven streams of 8K ProRes video playback. Wow. Think about seven, seven of me like playing back in 8K. Do you guys really wanna see this face in 8K? <laughs> I don't think so, <laughs> but hey, this is where we're headed. Okay, guys, I am so excited. I am beyond excited. I mean, I feel like you could, the excitement is screaming through the camera in this video, but truly, this is a moment that so many of us have been waiting for, and it's finally here, it is coming. And I didn't really get to talk about all the other things, but hey, new AirPods that look more like the AirPods Pro with MagSafe charging as well for under $200. Gonna be such a nice all around package. If you haven't had AirPods before, this is probably gonna be your time to finally experience them in all its new glory. And the colorful HomePod minis, when I saw those, I already started coordinating like what color am I gonna put where? The thought of a, a yellow and an orange and maybe some blue ones over here in the living room. The yellow, I think the yellow is really calling my name. The yellow and the blue is specifically. But wow guys, what a day, what an event. My dream MacBook is here and it's coming. Let me know in the comments below if you guys also pre-ordered a MacBook today and if so, which one? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hasta luego, see you soon. <laughs>